Good morning, everybody. In today's video, we're going to be talking about sunglasses, in particular, the ones that I'm wearing right now, which are made by a company called Flying Eyes, and why you may definitely want to consider buying a pair, especially if you're a pilot. Now, these are designed for pilots, by pilots, and there's some awesome features that, have, uh, that I absolutely love about them that have made them my go-to flying sunglasses. So, Let's do it. Uh, now talking about sunglasses, as a pilot, you're exposed to a lot of sunlight and a lot of UV radiation, especially being up at altitude. So it's actually very important and an aspect of flying that I never really put a lot of thought into until recently when I made the investment to buy these sunglasses. I was the kind of person that would just go and buy a $5 pair of uh, sunglasses from a gas station. In fact, I'd probably go and buy four or five pairs with the expectation they'll probably break or I'll lose them and then just go buy more uh, when I need them. Uh, I was doing myself a big disservice, especially considering that I could buy a pair of sunglasses like these that have a whole bunch of features that are designed for pilots. The first one is that they fit underneath your headset. You may not think that that's a big deal, but it actually is. Now, this headset I'm wearing is a Bose A20. Spent about $1,200 Canadian on it, and it has noise cancelling, a whole bunch of great features. However, if I'm wearing a pair of sunglasses, it actually breaks the seal uh, around my ear, so there's a whole bunch of noise leaking through. And that's a problem because I invest so much money in a good headset only to ruin it with a pair of sunglasses. Now, what Flying Eyes did was they designed a really thin frame that fits between the earpiece and your face so that you get no noise bleed and you get the best performance out of your headset. So as you can see, there's pretty much no space between there. And that's one of the best things that I like about uh, these sunglasses is that I can put them on real easily and it doesn't disturb the sound quality. Uh, and you get no noise bleed through that little space that normal uh, sunglasses would give you. The second thing that's great about these sunglasses is that they're really flexible. Check it out. It's like you can bend these things in so many different ways and that just means they're durable. Like you can basically chuck them around and they can bend, you can accidentally sit on them and they're not gonna break. They're really easy to take care of because of that. The third thing I like about them is that they're very lightweight. It's almost like you don't have a pair of sunglasses on your face. There's times where I even forget I'm wearing them. Um, and that's kind of nice because obviously everything in aviation is designed to be lightweight. So why not make the sunglasses lightweight as well? The fourth thing I like about them is, well, obviously, um, they're in a nice travel case with a little travel bag. And if you notice here, they are designed and assembled in Texas. So even though I'm in Canada, you guys are awesome down there. And uh, if it helps uh, keep uh, the American people employed, then I support that fully. If you haven't noticed, we are currently up at altitude right now. In fact, we are in the descent uh, through 18,000 now, as you can see on the Garmin G600. In case you're wondering what airplane we're flying, this is a Cessna Conquest 1, also known as a Cessna 425. A small little twin turboprop. It's a lot of fun. The fifth reason I love these uh, sunglasses is that the lenses are super clear and it's very hard to scratch them. I've actually tested it out and it was a little bit risky because I thought, well, maybe I should be testing out scratching the lenses on a brand new pair of uh, of flying eye sunglasses, but I did, and uh, they're very durable. So definitely a level above anything I've tried before when it comes to uh, sunglasses. The sixth thing that I really like about them is that I know that they're protecting my eyes, because obviously we're at altitude here, we're exposed to a lot of UV radiation, a lot of sunlight. They're easy to put on. Uh, they don't disturb the sound quality, obviously, because of the thin design. So I'm never having to decide, well, can I just tough it out without sunglasses if I want to you know, spare, you know, the extra noise that, that bleeds through if I use normal sunglasses. Um, I can wear these all the time. It's no inconvenience at all to be wearing sunglasses like these. Um, so if you guys are pilots and you want to consider uh, picking up a pair, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Check them out. Um, I do receive a little commission from them that does help support the YouTube channel. Obviously, I'm wearing these all the time now, uh, and I, I thought it would be great to share that with you guys because obviously I like to share uh, all the good products and uh, things that I'm using as I'm actually flying. Clear for Fort McMurray Airport uh, for approach uh, via lesson. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. I gotta land an airplane right away here. The airport's somewhere over there, but uh, it's a little bit smoky, a little bit hazy. Uh, but we'll catch you guys on the next uh, video, next adventure. Uh, 
and uh, happy and safe flying, everybody. Bye-bye.